So in my last video, I showed you these wheels, which was filmed just uh, 30 minutes ago. I am going to show you what I did on the first one. I am doing this with a uh, orbital sander. Of course, I got to do the cheap way. This is Bauer. Uh, I believe this is no more than 50 bucks from uh, Harbor Freights. Trusty Harbor Freights. So this is how the damage look on the other ones before a lot of light and heavy curb rashes moving over to this I just wipe this clean with a towel looks pretty good don't it this is all well I, I did it all in less than uh, five minutes um, so that's the great thing about these not like heavily damaged or curb wheels all you have to do is just lightly go around with that just fill it out and until you get to the point where you think uh, it's looking pretty good you could leave it like that you know with the accent or paint over it with a uh, matching color in this case this is like a charcoal gray color um, so it's not too difficult to get um, I might leave it like this because this actually looks pretty good kind of reminds me of the some of the new SL uh, T37s and from this distance basically you can't even tell this was a uh, damage compared to these come by and you see this big old gash or curb rash so I'm gonna continue on the other ones and come back with a video all right all right so I just swapped a newer 220 in here this is the older one it's a brand new one and uh, Let's see if you remember what this looked like earlier. It's pretty gashed up. So let me get a towel here and wipe off all the excess metal material and the paint. Check it out. Looks pretty good, if you ask me. This one actually took me a little longer. I think it took me about a good 10 15 minutes to go over. Uh, but actually, I think it looks better than the one on the left. Yeah. Check out this edge. Smooth to touch. And no more curb rash. Check out these ones. Not exactly. And. The shape that it needs to be so yeah so am I gonna touch this up with paint I'm thinking it's gonna be a no it's looking pretty good I think uh, even when I sell it whoever buying this is gonna appreciate this uh, this finish here on the lip and on these little spots what I'll do is uh, I'll get some paint and just touch that up or I might just leave it all depends on how bad it is. This one here, the decal's a little torn off. The rest of them looks pretty good. So, yeah. I'm gonna jump onto either that one or this is the worst one, so this is gonna probably look the worst out of all four. All right, I'll jump right back into this. Beautiful. This is the third one I just did. Take a look around. There was a couple of deep gash. I'm not sure you could tell from the video here. They're all, of course, knocked down. I believe there was one here. Now, let me wipe this, get a better look. Yeah, you can tell a little bit here, but not going to be very visible in, uh, in a few feet away or even like more than a feet away. So not important at all wow this looks pretty good it's my first one second one here and my third one it's a little one here I'm just gonna leave that maybe after I do all four I'll take a look again all right Alright, so I'm going to show you the worst one here. This one here has got the deepest gash. 
it's got some that carry over to the right edge of this um, and then this missing chunk there's nothing I'm going to be able to do with this but I'll see what I can do um, and this is the second worst area so overall this is the worst wheel but hey look at how the other one looks pretty damn good so I'm going to hop back into this one and then I'll run it with this Maybe I'll go down to even 80 grit. Pretty sure this is a pretty low grid sandpaper. I'm not sure, but all right, no. Be right back. All right, this is the last wheel, one of the worst one that I have so far. All these are looking good, except that was a really bad one here too. Got rid of that one here. Okay, except this area, let me focus, show you. It's actually harder than I expected. I'm just going deeper, there's nothing more to it. You're just trying to get rid of these little gouches. They're not that deep, I can't even really feel them for where the gouches are, but as you can see, still damage. Uh, coming over in this side, this is the worst one. This is an actual gouch out of the wheel. So, I'll see what I can do. I think I'll um, go over it a little bit more. It is going to have a small dent here, but um, without welding, this is uh, the most I can do without doing any welding. But feel free back. Can't really see it, right? Let me uh, wipe it. <sighs> you can see better. Oh, shoot. Fly. All right, not bad. Coming right down to this, gonna go over it a little longer. I think it's gonna work out. All right, give me a couple more minutes. All right, so I'm gonna wrap up this video. That's promise. This is the last wheel that I did. Check out these curves. Looks pretty good. There's that here. Nothing I could do. If I file this, I might get more of the paint, so I'm just gonna leave it. And the most important one that we wanted to see was this one here. Um, this was already there. Oops. This was already there, so it's basically uh, this gash here. And that is the most I could do without welding so far. They all look pretty good. So anyways, I must wrap up this video now. Um, hope you were able to um, see what I was able to do with these wheels. Just with the uh, orbital sander and some sandpaper. Basically to get these wheels looking good again um so i'll do a little research and check out my paint section and see what i have I have tons of these cans this look uh very similar to the tone i'm gonna use that usually i'll i'll run it on the side of the wheel or i'll put on a q-tip and i'll touch them up so i'll see how that goes so guess what, I do have a gunmetal marker, paint marker, I'm going to try that on one of the damage area, see how that looks. I'm going to show you live, I have a feeling that's going to come out darker, but i got to try with what I have. It's okay, it is definitely darker. Um... So what I'll do is, uh, yeah, I mean, still better than a white chip. I'll run it with my uh, spray paint, which has a similar tone to it, and then uh, 
from there I'll let it dry and uh, see how it looks but yeah this one here is a little too dark it's not gonna work out so anyways thanks for watching once again like I said I need to wrap up this video um, I'm pretty happy about the results it took me about 30 40 minutes and I would say I definitely increased the value of these um, minimum at least a hundred bucks per wheel so that's four hundred dollars there so when I sell these or when I get them more finished I'll update another video and or anything I'll do I'll have a updated video so thanks for watching subscribe and like the video